All right. So there's a few things. Um, there's actually a bunch of tracks around here that I want to show you guys in a second. I also brought a lot of food. I brought like a steak, um, some jalapeno poppers, and a few other things. So let's uh, let's check these out first because I also found something the other day that I would like to throw on the screen. That should keep things relatively dry. All right, so we have a bunch of prints here. And as I was saying before, when it has uh, four figures around here, it's most likely fox. I mean, it could be coyote or wolf, but um, this again has five. Here, let's find a better example. Right here, so you got kind of like a thumb, then two, three, four, five. And that walked up from over here, kind of like over where I was saying before, um, where that creek is over there. Walked up over here, kind of investigated, took a few steps actually in the fire pit, and then walked over here. So uh, I kind of want to follow that and see where that leads. And over, I'm wondering if it's following this, like some sort of squirrel or something. It could be, I don't know. Actually, you know what? This is super interesting. It looks like something was getting chased. Because as you can see over here, like I just pointed out, we got like some squirrel tracks or something, and it kind of zigzags, runs over here, and then kind of bolts. That's kind of, they kind of zigzag like that to try to throw off things that are chasing them. And then we have these fisher prints, or what I believe to be fisher, fisher prints at least, kind of charging in that way, so. Yeah, I wonder if he was chasing something. So what I'm gonna do first is I kinda wanna explore a little bit and uh, try to look into more of the where those tracks lead. And then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna cook food and then we're gonna work on this because I still haven't eaten today. So we're gonna see how that goes. And I was asked, why do I carry my shotgun with me when I'm out here? And as I was showing before, this whole escarpment is all caves and so on. And I've seen multiple fishers out here and I've actually had a couple, well, I think it's the same one, I'm not sure. I've actually had a fisher who was aggressive to me before, so it's it, it's honestly a better safe than sorry situation. I don't want to shoot something, obviously. I don't want to have to do that, but if it comes to it where it's like self-defense and my life could potentially depend on it, then obviously I'd be glad to have it. And actually, this is this is kind of nuts. Do you see those claws? Those claws are dank. That would really suck to get like ripped up by that. You can actually see here where he came in this way, looked around over there and then he walked back that way. So, one of the dens must be over here. And it looks like his trail is kind of lost here. I don't see where it continues. So what we're going to do now is basically grab a bunch of, grab a bunch of stuff to make a bed to get the fire off the ground, like I was saying before. gonna be a little slower of an episode it's like super cold out right now and I'm not really feeling the best I'm kind of sore and everything so I'm just gonna kind of take it easy I still want to get some of the stuff done but uh, really I'm just mostly excited about food right now so I'm gonna place some of this stuff down like I said just to get it up off the ground
so I'll show you guys what I got. I got these little jalapeno poppers that I want to make. I got a little bit of onion. I got this steak that I marinated um, last night. I put the stuff on it, threw it in the fridge, and let it sit. And then I got more butcher bacon because it's kind of a thing now. Oh, there's a little spider in there. Let's get him out. I'm gonna make the bacon first because again, I want to have a layer of grease in there before I cook the steak. So now that I have a layer of grease in here, I will throw on the steak. This is probably going to be pretty aggressive, but we'll see. It's almost like uh, steak strips. On a side note, that bacon's really good, as always. The steak actually turned out pretty good. Um, like I said, I, I just cut it up a bunch because I forgot to bring a fork. But the onion gives it so much extra flavor. Oh yeah, when you get a piece that has a bunch of onion with it, that is so good. And it's not, uh, it's not overdone, really. I mean, it's, it's a little bit more done than I than I would like it, but for being on a fire that's that aggressive right now, and kind of just because I'm not that patient right now, for being on a fire like that, it's uh, it's pretty good actually. Because I usually like my steaks like medium-ish, so uh, this is like I said, it, it, it's a tiny bit more than what I would like. Oh, well, now they're on the jalapeno poppers. These might look burnt on camera, but um, in person, actually what it is, is a lot of the sauce and stuff. I just had one before I threw them on there. They're really good.
something was up here and just kind of looking around. This is one of the reasons why I love winter is because everything kind of comes to life. You can kind of see tracks and prints and everything. And it's just really interesting to see stuff like this where something climbed up, looked around, or maybe even ravaged in the snow. I'm not sure, but it's amazing to see. There is so many birds in these trees right now. It's probably hard to see on camera, but they are just flocking everywhere. That is so cool. So this is really interesting to see. We have these hopping prints, um, which is kind of hard to tell, but I believe that's, I believe that could be Fisher because that's a little too agile to be porcupine in my opinion. And we have these wobble prints over here. Porcupine, when they take the same path so often, kind of make a trench. And if you see this, it looks like the Fisher, if that's what it is, um, which I, I'm believing it could be. Looks like the fisher came up to check on this den spot. And I'm hoping that the porcupine was not there for that. Because that wouldn't have been a good time. I don't see any signs of an attack. So I'm hoping everything's fine. This is actually kind of cool to see. You can see where something was running. And then took a little jump and I just sank right to my knee. In this area, I get a smell of something like pretty, pretty dank. Um, I'm wondering if that's some sort of scent marking or something. This thing goes up like really far, by the way. I looked on uh, like trail forks or something. I forget what it was, but it said this was like hundred and something meters. So um, elevation, which is quite a lot, but you can see here, there's the shack down there. So uh, this is kind of a nice spot by the escarpment here. River's just over there. Oh yeah, you see that? That's turkey for sure. Wild turkey. Neat. It's almost like an arrow. Fishers well hunt turkey too, by the way. Um, not too long ago, a turkey was ripped apart in my yard over there, so, yeah.
Oh, look at that. So right here, guys, we have some fur of some sort. So something was, something was killed here. Look at that. I don't really, don't know if I want to dig here, but uh, something was, something was taken out here. You can see we're actually starting to get pretty high up. Um, it gets really steep over there. So I don't want to risk going that way. I'm just going to keep going up this way where it is steep here, but it's not as steep as it is over there. There's a drop over there that's like, that's like deadly. I'm not good with heights. This is really cool to see. I love seeing like a green plant in the middle of winter. There is just prints everywhere. It's, it's really active up here. We got what looks to be turkey prints. We got what looks to be fisher prints. We got what looks to be fox prints. Squirrels everywhere, obviously. This is amazing to see. Now, I don't want to get too close to the edge, but we are at the top of the escarpment. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up well, but you can just see for kilometers and kilometers. There's like a um, waterfall and a lake and a river over there. Don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll try to zoom in. Yeah, it doesn't really want to focus over there. But in person, it looks absolutely stunning. Maybe there will be a better view over here. You can actually see some porcupine chew up here. So to get a idea of where we are right now, the shack would actually be over there under the cliff and under us right now would be like the caves and all sorts of stuff where there's the porcupine dens and all those little cliffs and whatever on the escarpment here and you can actually see some if it's going to focus you can see some uh, porcupine chew up in there that's pretty fresh too Look at this. Jesus. I wish the camera could really just pick up how high up we are right now. Because it's a... Uh, it's actually pretty nuts. Probably looks like it's flat, but it's actually like a freaking slope that just goes down. And it's a cliffside escarpment.
this right here is certainly Fisher. And that is certainly Turkey. It's getting dark fairly quick, so I should head home for the day.